esteemed representatives of the Secretary General of the United Nations, dear Pramila, distinguished guests, it's an honor for me to address this assembly today at the event commemorating the anniversary of the mandate of sexual violence and conflict. I regret not being able to participate in person in this event, marking 15 years since the adoption of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1888 and the establishment of two of our key partners in the fight against impunity for serious weak crimes in Ukraine, the Office of the Special Representative for Sexual Violence and Conflict and the UN team of experts on the rule of law and sexual violence in conflict. As you are aware, reports of CRSV in Ukraine emerged soon after the onset of the full-scale invasion by the Russian Federation. Since the 24th of February 2022, my office has recorded 322 instances of CRSV against men, women and children. According to the Independent Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine, CRSV has affected individuals ranging in age from 4 to 82 years old. Recently, reports have emerged regarding the widespread and systematic use of torture, ill-treatment and CRSV in detention facilities for individuals in the custody and under the authority of the Russian Federation. The findings of our specialized department have revealed clear patterns echoing those identified by the chairman of the Commission, Mr. Eric Merze, during the 57th regular session of the Human Rights Council, highlighting that Russia employs sexual violence as a form of torture in nearly all detention facilities it, it organizes and controls. Addressing serious V crimes is always a challenging endeavor. Numerous factors discourage survivors from coming forward. Specific expertise is necessary to ensure investigations and prosecutions centered on survivors and avoid re-traumatization. And additional emergency resources, both in terms of prosecutors and equipment, are often needed to strengthen national capacity to manage a high volume of crimes. These challenges also exist in Ukraine. However, my office has made a deliberate decision to prioritize accountability for serious crimes, including CRSV. We have drawn on lessons learned from many countries represented on this panel today to identify the necessary steps to achieve our objectives. With this regard, a dedicated specialized CRSV unit has been established within the War Crimes Department to ensure that investigations and prosecutions of CRSV are integrated into broader accountability efforts from the outset. Additionally, we have developed comprehensive capacity building sessions to enhance our prosecutors' understanding of how to pursue war crimes, to progress towards macro cases that encompass the full scale and extent of CRSV, to interact with traumatized survivors and to strengthen our methodology. Our office has also sought to embed psychologists in our teams to assist in liaising with vulnerable CRSV survivors. Many of our initiatives have benefited from the support provided by the UN team of experts, which has proven to be one of our most effective and reliable partners. It is evident that the response to CRSV in Ukraine has been enhanced by the experience worldwide gained over the past 15 years since the establishment of the mandate we are commemorating today. Furthermore, I have initiated the creation of the Victim and Witness Coordination Center of the Office of Prosecutor General to liaise with war crime survivors, facilitate their access to justice and connect them with existing services. Additionally, I would like to mention the recent decision to ratify the Rome Statute, which will allow Ukraine to incorporate provisions on crimes against humanity and command responsibility into its legislation. As of today, 58 servicemen of the Russian Federation were notified of suspicion. 25 indictments against 34 persons have been sent to courts. Five individuals have been sentenced to imprisonment and 82 instances of CRSV have been solved. Much remains to be done, including in developing of more complex CRSV prosecutions. Nevertheless, 
It is our expectation that with continued, long-term and steadfast support, perpetrators will be brought to justice and that the lessons learned in Ukraine will contribute to preventing and addressing Series 3 crimes globally. Thank you for your attention and commitment to this critical issue. I look forward to our continued collaboration in the pursuit of justice and accountability.